Hi, I'm Andrew of Full Metal Fab Works, and I'm going to show you how to install one of our Adventure Air onboard air compressor kits for the Polaris Razor Pro XP. Um, it comes just like you see here, pre-wired, ready to drop in, quick, easy installation using basic hand tools. I'm going to run the, through that with you today, so let's get started. The first thing you'll notice is we removed some of the fenders, body cladding, and the doors. None of that's necessary for this installation. We just did that so you have a little bit better picture of what's going on here. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is remove your seat um, because the compressor is going to go in the unused area right behind the seat. Um, so we'll get started with that. With your seat out of the way, the first thing you want to do, it's not really necessary, but it does make things a little bit easier. Go ahead and slide your seat base all the way forward and then throw these belts out of the way. I'm coming back here to behind the seat in this kind of dead space that you don't really use. Um, this is where your compressor is going to sit. There are two 13 millimeter uh, bolts that you're going to pull out. Well, they're not 13 millimeter, but you use a 13 millimeter to remove them. Um, the compressor is going to reuse those to mount. And then it's also going to use this side plate gusset here, which has a factory, a couple holes from the factory. And there's some provided hardware that once you drop it in, you'll, you'll uh, use that there. So we'll go ahead and get these 13s out of the way. We're going to hold on to those because we're going to use them to remount the compressor. All right. And this is what your bracket's going to look like. This is actually our prototype, so it may look a little bit different than this, but overall the idea will be the same. You'll notice there's a large notch right here in the front, and also this front tab that curls under and is kind of like a hook. Um, basically what this notch is going to allow you to do is clear this seatbelt tab right here um, to install it, and it's going to be a little tight because it's got some weld nuts on the bottom, but that is by design. Uh, it will go so to install it you're basically gonna want to drop it straight down over the seat belt tab and then have that hook go under the frame seat frame right there so we'll go ahead and get that in or we got that in there now so we'll go ahead and drop in our 13 millimeters just so we know we got everything lined up Now that that's in there, you're going to want to take your uh, provided quarter 20 bolt and washers. Um, and these are stainless steel, so they won't rust on you, but you do want to put either some anti-seize or Loctite or something on there to keep the threads from galling. So we're going to go from the inside, and on here you'll see there's two holes at the top of this gusset. Um, one larger one is going to be the one that you're going to use that's going to correspond with your compressor mount. So go ahead and use your large washers and your nut. Get everything finger tight. Um, basically, you're going to need a 13 millimeter here to tighten these two down. Uh, for uh, the top and the provided hardware, you're going to need a 532nd um, Allen along with a 716th open ended wrench. We'll go ahead and get those tightened down and then move on to the wiring portion. All right, now that your compressor is all bolted in, the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is hook up the wiring. Um, as you notice, the compressor does come pre-wired. It does have a built-in fuse. Um, we're not gonna go into all the options here because there's so many of them on these new Pro XPs. Um, you know, probably the easiest is go straight to your battery right here, which you can do since it has a built-in fuse on the compressor itself. Um, there's a positive here and then a ground right up there. Um, another option underneath this center console here is a um, positive junction. Um, if you need to get positive from there, um, you can access all of that by 
going through a grommet that you'll find right down in here, right behind the compressor. Um, that'll also get you into the center console tunnel. If you want to, you can fo follow the wiring along down through there. Um, these new Pro XPs aren't like the older models, which had a distribution block underneath the hood. Um, they have a, their switches are all located underneath the dash up here. And then underneath uh, the passenger side over here that you can access through the passenger floor well there, there is also a, another power um, lug that you can connect into there if you want to. Um, the choice is yours on that. Um, just kind of depend on how in depth and how clean you want to get with the wiring. If you can tie it into something like a radio install or a rear light bar or speakers or something like that, it'll make it a little bit easier to commit to pulling off the center console. They are a little more difficult than the uh, older models, but you know, nothing super hard. Um, basically what you're going to do is start with removing this console. We won't go through the whole details here. It should be in your owner's manual, but we'll give you a couple pointers on it. Um, you got a couple of these twist um, quarter turn fasteners here. Once you get those undone, you want to pull out your center con your your actual little tray that goes in there. Um, you got several uh, T40 torques that go all along the bottom here, all the way up and around. Um, a couple tricks on it. Um, underneath your shifter here, there's another T40 torx which is hidden under that rubber flap. And then when you come in down here on the bottom, there is a fuse box here, which has two, um, two 10 millimeter bolts. We have them removed, so it's a little easier to move that around. But there's a 10 millimeter bolt on this end, and then another 10 millimeter bolt on this end. You'll need to remove those so you can get to a push pin that is located right here. And then there's another one that is located up here. It's a little harder to see with this panel on, but just one, you know, those ones are kind of hard to find. So I want to give you a quick tip on that. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 909-505-7115. Uh, as always, we appreciate the business. If there's anything else we can help you with this, just let us know. Have a great day. Enjoy your adventure air compressor.